Life is indeed a pleasure, and pleasures are usually short. Said by Jenny Wanda Barkman, who was also known by Beautiful Spectre. During the Stutthof trial, that had been held in 1946. But, who is Jenny Wanda Barkman, or, Beautiful Spectre? Jenny Wanda Barkman, was born in Hamburg in 1921. Little is known about her life. But it is a known fact that in 1944, she became Alf Zierin, a female guard, in the women's section of Stutthof concentration camp. Where was the first German concentration camp set up outside German borders, in World War II? To imprison the Polish leaders and intelligentsia. Of all the guards, in the Nazi concentration camps, 3,700 were women. Some of them enlisted voluntarily. The camp guards were expected to treat the prisoners ruthlessly, like hitting various parts of the body with various objects. On frosty and snowy evenings, the prisoners were repeatedly taken outside, stripped naked and poured with cold water, after which they had to stand still for several hours. Pregnant women legs were binding, as the time of delivery approached. But even in the brutal reality of the Stutthof camp, Barkman became known for her exceptional cruelty. Jenny Wanda Barkman loved to mistreat her prisoners, leading them to death in the process. It also had the right to select women and children for the gas chambers. Because of the confusing combination of her attractiveness and her cruelty, the prisoners nicknamed her Beautiful Spectre. When the war came to its end, Barkman fled Stutthof as the Soviets approached. She hid a few months in besieged Gdansk. But in May 1945, she was recognized and arrested while trying to leave a train station in Gdansk. She became a defendant in the Stutthof trial, that was held in 1946 in Gdansk, where she and 13 other defendants, were convicted for their crimes at the camp. The 13 defendants were six German female SS guards, one SS man and six Polish capos, prisoners who supervised the forced labor in the camp. During her imprisonment and trials, Barkman still was concerned with her appearance. She wore a different hairstyle every day, and was arranging her hair while hearing testimony, and reportedly flirted with the prison guards. Barkman was found guilty, after which she declared, Life is indeed a pleasure, and pleasures are usually short, and sentenced to death, by hanging, together with ten other defendants. Barkman was publicly executed, by short drop hanging along with ten other defendants, from the trial on Biskupia Gorka Hill near Gdansk. On July 4, 1946, the procedure was to start the truck's engine, and drive a few meters away, so that the tethered person would slide off it and hang. According to the doctors involved in the execution, the convict died in this way for an average of 12 minutes, intervals between executions lasted 20 minutes. Former Stutthof prisoners volunteered to serve as executioners. The event gathered innumerable crowds, according to some sources around 200,000. For humanitarian reasons, the authorities soon refrained from organizing further public executions. When Barkman was hanged, she was 25 years old. After the show ended, the crowd wanted to set off on the corpse to tear it apart, but the security forces of that time intervened in time. All the bodies were taken to the Medical Academy of Gdansk, where they served as reference material for students. It was one of the last public executions, in Poland.